Hello everyone. I am here to show you a bit of flat assembler history. In fact, today is exactly 20 years since I started development of flat assembler. And I do know that exactly because if we take a look at the historical sources of the first version of Flat Assembler. I had I had inserted date and time at the time when I was starting the project. In fact, before I even wrote a first line of code, I <laughs> opened a fresh new file in editor and I just inserted date and time. Das Navigator has this function in its editor. Where was it? Oh, it's this one. I had date format configured dif differently, but it's more or less uh, the same function. So as you can see, it's nearly 20 years. It did not went public until a year later, so a true 20 year anniversary of Flat Assembler is going to be next year. This is just a small private anniversary of 20 years since I started writing it. And as you can see, this very first version was a bit different from the later ones. It had no use 32, but this code 32 directive. It had another strange directive that later became format directive. And it used its own format for executables and its own extender for to run executables in this format. This is a program in HF format as produced by this early version of FAS. And this is the extender. And you can see that extender at that moment was already adapted to be assembled by Flat Assembler, by the very first version of Flat Assembler. So it was all self-sustainable. I needed no other tools. Well, my extender was based on widely known PMOTE extender. I just took it as a base and then extended it to create my own extender with more functions. A later version of the same extender is here, and this one had support for uh, DLLs, dynamically dynamically loaded libraries. This uh, 1.0 version of FASM was not the same as the official later <laughs> release of FASM a year later. This was my private numbering. I did scrap it and started again from uh, 0.9 when I first released it to the public year later. 
without this HF format, which was always only for my private purposes. And here you can see, yes, this was instead of documentation. My early private releases had no documentation, just this couple of examples of syntax. As you can see, most of the things did not really change. The only one thing that was changed later was this. <laughs> later FASMA stopped being case-sensitive case with regards to hexadecimal numbers and this no longer was a valid number. And this, uh, this uh, private release of Phasma had um, support for libraries in HF format again. So it needed my own extender in version 3 with support for such libraries. And then I also had my editor. Let's run it with extender. You can see that this editor is, has much in common with later incarnations of flat editor. So FASMW and FASMD use the same engine, or later incarnation of the same engine. It had vertical blocks just as later ones. block caret to indicate overwrite mode and unlimited undo so all these basic functions were there since very beginning of my flat editor project And in fact, the entire interface may perhaps uh, resemble a uh, FASMD. I also had this editor ported into my own operating system with FASM. Uh, obviously, Extender was no longer needed then. It was a simple 32-bit operating system, single task very much like DOS, where, where every program is a, just a single task that has access to entire machine and all ports, uh, all memory. But just 32-bit protected mode with access to all memory. Paged memory. Unfortunately, I have no sources preserved of that operating system with FASMS and flat editor ported, so I cannot show it now. <clears throat> All right, it's <laughs> only one minute left. So I can wait till that moment and mark the 20 years.
I can only look forward to next <laughs> 10 years till 30, 30 years of that December project. Well, now it is Plattecender G, that is really where my focus is. The next generation engine. And there I do not even need to look up dates and times and insert it into files like this, because I have entire repository in fossil format for Plattecender G. As for Flat Assembler 1, it was just... I don't know... <laughs> Did I have a hunch that, that I might want to preserve the date and time? Perhaps it was a good intuition. Anyway, thank you for watching this bit of historical curiosity